Hi, I'm Tanya from the Aquaponic Source, and today we're going to take a tour of the Dahlia Farm and Gardens Aquaponic Greenhouse at the Mental Health Center of Denver campus. In 2015, we were hired to help build out the vision of food as a first form of medicine here as an integrated part of community support for this particular location. So this aquaponic greenhouse is 5,000 square feet. It's a nexus greenhouse designed uh, with the climate controls necessary to manage temperatures in our cold climate in Colorado, as well as hot summers. And we utilize the square footage of this aquaponic greenhouse to provide produce to people from the neighborhood, the staff and faculty of this facility, as well as surrounding community restaurants, markets, and neighborhood residents. So let's take a look inside and uh, see how we laid it all out. A big part of this farm design was to have a high stocking density of fish. The neighborhood residents and the community suggested that they wanted tilapia and catfish. So we designed systems along with Aquaculture Systems Technology, AST, to build out these large fiberglass tanks. Uh, they're 2,800 uh, gallons of water, and they have three separate sections so that we can house different age cohorts of fish all in the same tank. The benefit of that is we can have three different age groups and we don't have to disturb the younger fish when we want to harvest. They also get the right amount of feed, uh, they don't compete for space, and they have an adequate amount of room to grow out so that we can have that higher stocking density. These tanks are really high tech and also they use a airlift system uh, instead of a pump to recirculate water and that provides both oxygen in the water as it's moved through the system as well as uh, an efficient way to circulate or recirculate water overall. These systems are designed um, so that we could conserve the floor space of this room while maintaining that high stocking density and overall then allow that water to pass through this entire system. So this tank we have tilapia and over on the other side we have the catfish. So one of the things we designed into this farm is a two-story uh, elevated nursery deck. The idea behind this is that here we have to produce about 1,200 to 1,800 seedlings every single week and we wanted to do that in the most efficient way possible. So we constructed this metal structure which has uh, roofing panels to support our seedling trays and water is on a timer, flows down the full length of the nursery deck and then down the second layer, allowing us to grow out all of our seedling production week one, two, three, and four so that we can maximize and conserve space in our greenhouse. One of the things that we designed uh, for the first time in this space was this waist high transplant trough. We needed to be ADA compliant in this particular location, and so we designed a deep water culture system on legs, so someone had the ability to sit at it at a wheelchair or at a, at a regular tear and work at this waist height. What we found is we really love this implementation, and so we've designed it into lots of our farm scale and home and hobby systems, because really it is kind of a perfect salad bar uh, sort of space for all of your leafy green vegetables to grow. One of the most productive elements of our entire aquaponic system is typically the plants. In almost every farm, the plants uh, greatly outweigh the amount of fish production typically. Similar in this farm, we've got about 2,000 square feet of deep water culture here in our greenhouse. And these are eight feet wide by 80 feet long. Uh, we have the beaver 28 hole raft boards in this particular system and we grow a wide variety of lettuces, kale, shards, mustards, basil and herbs in the deep water culture. Um, every single week we're planting anywhere from 1200 to 800 seedlings which means we're harvesting anywhere from 1200 to 1800 heads of, of lettuces or uh, salad mixes, bunched greens, um, or by the pound that we serve to this community as well as sell to some of the high-end restaurants and markets that surround the Denver Metro neighborhood. Everything in our farm is sold within five miles, um, so nothing gets distributed further than that, and we really try to keep local local. Um, so all of this farm is about health and nutrition, it's about food access and food security, it's about having the, the best food available, uh, and it's about showing a wonderful partnership and really living out the mission 
that the mental health center uh, imagined with food as that first form of medicine. So we feel very fortunate that we had the opportunity to partner uh, with this incredible project and run this beautiful facility.